In this video tutorial, we're going to use Photoshop to do kind of a fun little project here. I'm sure you remember uh, is your child. Um, I'll open up this to show you this photo. It's design. Um, remember these here? You take a look at it and you go, what's the difference? Well, there's differences between this one is original and here's the, the changed one or vice versa. And let's say you're eating your cereal box and you're looking at the back of the cereal box and you're looking to find all the changes between there's green eyes on Scooby uh, there's gray on the hook there all types of, of little changes that you have to look back and forth to try to find all the changes and so that's what we're going to be building in this little segment is uh, we're going to be making a fun here's another one here uh, it just has a bunch of changes that you go through and you find all the differences between the two pictures. So I have um, found a kind of a fun, I like superheroes, so I'm going to open up this one here. We've got these superheroes and we're going to make some changes to this. So what, what you want to do is save two copies of your image. First, just go File and Save As. And I'm going to say this is just Comics um, Original on my desktop that'd be fine as a JPEGs fine highest resolution great okay then go in and go file save as and we'll call this next one instead of original we'll call it uh, changes or changed and save that okay now the one that says comic changed that I'm going to use I'm this is the one I'm going to make changes to so I want you to use all of your techniques you've learned in Photoshop to make changes here's one of them I'm just going to use the lasso tool and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to lasso uh, one of these superheroes faces. I'm just going to get Batman's here. Now there's several of these that I've seen before. Some of them would be like, can you find all the Batman's in the in the image? Or can you um, spot the differences between you know the two different images? So this one's one of those just the differences. Okay, I'm going to take the move tool. Now once I've got that selected, instead of just cutting it out so it's gone, okay, um, I, I put it back Command Z or Control Z on a PC. So just remember on, on a Mac, Command Z on a PC, it's Control Z. That's to step one back. Um, I'm going to hit Control J or Command J on a Mac. And what that does is it makes a copy of the face or just the original, um, just the selection off of this one. On a layer. So now I take the move tool, Batman's still there, but now I've got this face. And I'm going to go put this face over Wonder Woman. Command T, rotate it a little bit, kind of fill it up. And what's fun is if you want to skew it and make it different like shapes, click on the right here, the warp tool, and you can go in and kind of warp it and really make it look like it's on this design. Okay? So here, and I'll, I'll do a little bit of racing here. I'm going to take my eraser and erase a little bit of that so it's totally, like, changed. She's got earrings, <laughs> but she's Batman. Batwoman, okay. So there's a change that, that is going to be different from the original. And then another tool you might want to use, go to your background, so it's the main layer. Take your clone stamp tool. And with a clone stamp tool, I'm going to make another copy of here of Green Lantern. I'm going to hold down Option click or alt on a PC. I'm going to click around his, on his face here. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to move him, just his face. I'm going to hide one right in here. Oh, let me do this again. Turn my opacity up to 100%. So option, click on his face. I'm just going to put a little face of Green Lantern right there. Just his head hidden back there. <laughs> okay. All right, and then I might do again on here. I might take uh, this. Um, oh, let's see. I'll, I'll find on on, uh, on the flash here. We'll do this. Just his logo, and I'm going to put just his logo on Green Lantern's chest. Okay, so it just little tiny changes. Now, when you're done with that and you're all finished and you've got lots of layers and you've got lots of changes on it and make make at least 10 or 20 of them you know so there's lots of changes go to file save as and you're going to save it yep we're going to save it right over the top of the comics change but here's the thing 
I want you to save it as a JPEG file. That's going to flatten it down to one, but keep your original as well. So I'm going to hit save and OK. So now if I put these side by side, I'll, I'll reduce the size of this. I'm just going to come down here. Well, I can just use my, my zoom tool, hold down Alt or Option, make it smaller. And I'm going to open the other one next to it. So file and open. I'll open up comics, this one here, but the original. And it's just, a, again, a fun little project for to do. And I could totally see this on the side of a cereal box. You know, can you look at these and see the changes? You know, so that someone's scanning back and forth. Now, another thing I would like you to do is I want you to make, on the changed one, after you've got it all saved, bring it back up really big and label everything that you've made changes. Okay. Now you can do that by circling the changes or what I like to do is put arrows toward them and like make them like a hot pink or something you can really see or especially on a real loud um, exciting picture like this. So come down here to the shape tool, go to custom shapes and right up here we've got all types of shapes, just pick an arrow and then right here fill it with something like hot pink or something that's way different than anything that's going on, on in this image. So I'm just going to use a hot pink color here. And then I can go in and say, okay, there's a change. I'll put that on top, okay? So the face. Now to make a copy of this, I can just make a copy of this layer, which this layer right here, if I turn the eyeball off, you'll see that it turns on and off the arrow. I can make another copy of it just by right-clicking on it. Duplicate the layer, okay? Now I've got two arrows. So if I go to my Move tool, here's another arrow. And I'm going to say, okay, there's a change right there. And then I can make a, now another way you can make a copy is hold down Option, drag on the arrow, or Alt on a PC. And I can go in and say, there's, but if I, if I don't want this across the Batman, or the Superman, I hit Command T, spin it around, and there's another place right there. And you can make these arrows smaller, you know. Now, if you want to really make these arrows stand out, you could always add, go to your custom shape, and you could always add a stroke of like white around it. So it really stands out. There we go. So you know, it shows all, shows all the differences. There's, there's a change here, here, here. So then when you're done with that, go to File, Save As. Make sure you make this as a Photoshop a JPEG so it flattens all the layers, makes it readable on any computer. And we're going to call this Comic comics key. I'll do those in caps. So now the viewer, after they're exhausted all of their opportunity to find the changes, maybe they can't find them all, like there's 20 changes in this image and they could, let's say they find just 12. Well this way you can go label them all out so they, they don't get so frustrated. They can come back and go, oh, oh, I didn't see his little head there behind Superman. I didn't see that. I didn't see that, you know, and stuff. So what a fun project. Um, I can totally see this on a cereal box, def definitely re relevant to a job in um, graphic design and commercial art. Keep having fun with this stuff.